Vietnam is one of the most popular Southeast Asian tourist destinations, and it's simple to say why. It has fantastic food. It's affordable and home to some of the most beautiful scenery you'll ever see in Asia. Hey everyone, welcome to Itchy Feet. In today's video, we're going to go over the top 10 best places to visit in Vietnam. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Hue Hue, one of Vietnam's historic towns, is brimming with treasures from the rule of the 19th century Nguyen emperors. The imperial enclosure is a massive complex built within 2.5 kilometers of walls that sit along the banks of the beautiful Perfume River. While viewing the gardens, don't miss the stunning Nao Mong Gate, the Tai Ho Palace, and its exquisitely lacquered interior decoration, the Den To Residence, where the Queen Mothers would live, and the Halls of Mandarins with their intact ceiling murals. Outside the imperial enclosure walls, there are a plethora of historic sites. A riverboat on the Perfume River is one of the most pleasant ways to view a range of outlying sites. A day sail can take you to various royal tombs as well as pagodas. Number 9. Phu Qua Phu Qua is a beautiful island in the Gulf of Thailand. While it is technically part of Vietnam, it is geographically closer to Cambodia. The island is distinguished by dense tropical vegetation, gentle sandy beaches, and undulating hills. However, the island has an interesting history, having originally functioned as a French missionary base and subsequently as a French colonial military prison, a dreary reformatory that you can visit today. Aside from its history, the island is the most appealing for its seductive tropical nature. Days in Phu Quoc are spent sunning on sandy beaches, scootering through fishing towns, visiting pearl and pepper plantations, and trekking to waterfalls if you're up for it. Don't miss out on the opportunity to experience Phu Quoc's famous fish sauce, Nuk Mam. You can even visit one of the fish sauce manufacturers while you're here. Number 8. Bang Giac Waterfall Bang Giac is the name of not one, but two clashing waterfalls along the Quay Son River. A famous way to designate the Vietnam-China border in the Trung Khan district of Cao Bang on the Vietnamese side and the Daxin County of Guanghi on the Chinese side. You'll be witnessing one of Southeast Asia's most spectacular natural wonders. Its sheer magnitude, 70 meters tall and 208 meters wide, is impressive in and of itself, but it is the way the falls tumble down its stony limestone wall that is most impressive. If you're up for a challenge, you can travel up the fall's high points if you have the proper walking equipment. After you've taken in the breathtaking views, there's much to see and do in Kaobang region, which is located high in the country's hilly northeast. There are caves to explore, native homestays to experience, and even more spectacular waterfalls to see. Number 7. Hanoi Hanoi, Vietnam's capital, is extremely chaotic, yet that adds to its allure. It's one of Southeast Asia's fastest-growing cities, with an interesting mix of French and Sino-Vietnamese influences. Visitors to this vibrant capital should come prepared. It's a swarm of activity at best, absolute chaos at worst. A city where crossing the street could mean taking your life into your own hands, with automobiles, motorcycles, and tuk-tuk jostling for the right-of-way in a city with no road regulations. Legion's Corner is one of the best spots to experience Hanoi's craziness. The well-located Legend Beer Restaurant is the ideal place to sit with a beer and witness the madness of rush hour right before nightfall. For a change of pace, take a walk around the freshwater Hong Kim Lake in Old Quarter or learn more about Vietnamese history at the Thang Long Imperial Citadel, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, the final resting place of the Vietnamese president and revolutionary leader Ho Chi Minh is a must-see. Number 6. My Son My Son Sanctuary is a historic ruin that dates from the 4th to the 13th century CE. You can visit the isolated ruin on a day trip or as part of an organized tour that operates in the old town. My Son Sanctuary is an excellent example of the workmanship of the Champa Kingdom, which ruled this portion of Vietnam in the 4th century. The temples and towers of My Son are of Hindu origin, and they mimic the historic ruins seen throughout Cambodia and Thailand. If you're interested in history and looking for something to do in Hoi An for a day, I highly recommend My Son Sanctuary. This is one of the few spots in Vietnam where you can see these types of ruins, and it would be a waste to come all the way to Hoi An and not see this ancient ruin with your own eyes. Number 5. Sapa Sapa, a market town in Vietnam's hilly north, rose to prominence as a French hill station in the 1930s. The hamlet, located on a 1,650-meter-high mountain crest, offers spectacular views of the Hong Lin Mountains, as well as a colorful market visited by hill tribes from the surrounding region every Saturday. The village has grown in popularity among tourists, but there are still historic customs concealed in its hidden corners. 
One of these is the love market, where Dao and Hyun Myung, men and women, travel long distances to perform love songs to each other. It used to be held at the end of Saturday market business, but overzealous tourists snapping unwanted photos drove the custom underground. The love market still exists, but it now takes place at secret locations in the middle of the night, far from the eyes of visitors. However, if your interest is real and you can locate a local prepared to trust you, you can still find romance. Number 4. Ha Long Bay If Sapa represents the heart of Vietnamese countryside, Ha Long Bay captures the concept of Vietnamese coastline. One of the most iconic photographs of Asia is an aerial view of Ha Long Bay. The rocky outcrops rise high over the blue waters. Depending on your preference, Ha Long Bay is best explored by canoe or kayak. If you don't want to be active, there are daily boat trips that tour the tiny islands. On a sunny day, the waters of Ha Long Bay truly sparkle and gleam in a variety of blue and green hues. Number 3. Hoi An Hoi An is one of Vietnam's most photogenic historic towns. Every year, a large number of tourists from all over the world come to see the historic town's exquisite blend of traditional and foreign influences on its architecture. It might get crowded, especially near the river at night, but Hoi An is simply too gorgeous to pass up. You can spend the morning exploring the ancient town's crisscrossing streets, then visit the Japanese bridge and have a nice lunch break at one of the many restaurants in town, eating some of the best food in Vietnam, such as Khao Lo, Ban Boi, Ban Bao, and Ban Mi. If you're planning to visit Vietnam and want to visit a photogenic location, Hoi An is the place to go. Number 2. Golden Hands Bridge have you ever seen a bridge like this before? The Golden Bridge, also known as the Golden Hands Bridge, in Da Nang Province is one of a kind. Pedestrians can walk across the 150-meter-long pathway, high above the seemingly endless greenery of the Bana Hills, and feel as though they're being held in the sky. The reality-altering monument was built to entice more visitors to the Da Nang area, and no one can deny its social media success. If you traveled to Vietnam and didn't upload a photo of the Golden Hands Bridge on Instagram, did your vacation even ever take place? Number 1. Ho Chi Minh City Ho Chi Minh City is a modern metropolis full of history and tourist attractions, and it's an excellent site to begin your journey in Vietnam and gain a sense of what the country is all about. The city itself is similar to any other big metropolis in Southeast Asia, with traffic congestion, a plethora of nighttime activities, and a plethora of things to do for city dwellers. It also houses the Vietnam War Museum, which gives you a chance to learn about the country's dark past. Ho Chi Minh City also offers some spectacular colonial-era architecture, such as the Notre Dame Cathedral of Saigon and the Saigon Central Post Office, which should give you an idea of how much the city has been influenced by outside influences. There's also a lot of street food along Pham Gu Lao Street, the tourist strip where you can eat all the amazing Vietnamese street cuisine, such as the French-inspired Ba Mi sandwich and the excellent Vietnamese coffee. Despite being a large and bustling city, Ho Chi Minh City has a lot to offer first-time visitors because the culture and mood here are more geared. So, if you're intending to visit Vietnam, start your journey in Ho Chi Minh City. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.